All right, zero one of one back again. How's it going? Uh, this episode is being recorded pretty much immediately after the last one. Uh, we have a drone coming in apparently. That's fine. Um, I did do a little tiny bit of work here, so I took that guy off of here and I stuck it down over there. Um, I also put in these six thrusters and extended that out. So I haven't actually done that much in here. Um, let's see. So now I need to work on kind of the rest of this so we can get kind of like a general shape going on of what we want. So let's see. We're going to need this guy in here like that. And then this guy, I believe. Yeah, in there like that. Okay. And that can go there. That can go there. Now that should still fit in there quite nicely. Um, and then at this point, I need to start moving upwards. And then I can go, let's see, one, two, three blocks forward. Okay. So let's get that in here. So one, two. That's just the placeholder block for now until I figure out what I want to put in there, and then that will be three. So that's as far as we're going to go here. All right, so let me put in the rest of this. Yeah, I think that can go there. And there. And then from here, we need to do uh, this weird piece again. Oh, no, wait, that has to go from there. Hang on, let me, let me actually do this the right way first. Okay, so that goes there. Oh. These don't actually line up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take these out and redo those. So that way it does line up with that. So let me take this out, that out. And then probably these two out. And then that's going to be that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay. So if we move it out from here now, let's see if this actually works. Hopefully it does. Okay, so that goes to there. Okay, I think th Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah. And then we go into Not that one. <laughs> um this one. Oh, wait a minute, that's not working out either. Oh, I have to take out, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Um, I have to take out these ones as well. Wait, do I, is that, that's not correct. Why is that not correct? Unless we go in here like this, keep that like that, and then we build this guy outwards. Okay, so that's got to go there, 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 and there, followed by here and here. Okay. And then that has to go in there. Yep, like that. Okay. So that is how that works. And that can go in there like that. And then we need to repeat that process over here. Something like that. I don't I don't I don't know. 
that needs to go in here like that. Followed by that and that. I think that's how this is supposed to work anyways. So with that being the front of the ship, we need to make sure that this fits down in there. So I'm going to retract all of the pistons, and we'll see how it looks. Uh, let's see, pistons, retract. Now hopefully this fits in there nicely. I mean, it's getting pulled down the right way, so that's good. And then we should be left with very little separation between here and here. Yeah, so that looks okay. Got about half a block of space in here, which is good. And then up in here, we have like no space. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I mean, it looks like we have enough so we do have a gap in here, which means that these should be down all the way. It doesn't look like it's hitting anything. And then we have this full block of space here that we could make use of if we really wanted to by putting in uh, an eighth corner here and then building a half block up. But I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. But um, it looks like everything does fit in here quite nicely. Pretty happy with that. And we can't go out any farther this way because we have to leave space in here. Um, so that way when I'm bringing this thing back in here to dock, um, I'm not going to be hitting the doors at all. All right, so let's bring these pistons back up again. So this is going to be kind of like the basic outline of the ship so far. And I kind of like it because it does look like an actual kind of naval ship, I guess in a way, which uh, is pretty cool. All right, so that will bring us up all the way. Okay, and that's kind of what the bottom of the ship looks like. So it does actually sort of look like a ship, which is kind of what we were going for, which is good. And I want to get rid of that line, so I'll probably put those blocks back in there. So those will go there. Uh, OK, so uh, next thing that we need is the reactor. And like I said, we're going to be putting in a large reactor in here. And tier 5, because we want all of the power. Just got to make sure that, that is the right way. That is the right way. So that should be good. That should fit in there quite nicely. Um, OK, and then from here, we need to figure out kind of our pathways going through here. And it is going to be kind of weird, like flying this thing with like a big, you know, container thing on the back of it without anything up in front kind of offsetting it. But given that this has to fit underneath the deck here, um, I don't think we really have too much of a choice, actually. And then uh, also, apparently, the game has discovered that there is more uranium in this asteroid, but I think that's on the far side. And we already did take out all of the asteroid that was in that whole huge thing in there, so we have a lot of uranium. I'm not going to get any more, so we're going to leave the rest of it uh, for some other time. All right, what do you need? You need a ton of metal plates. Um which means that we're probably low on nickel again, right? Wait, wait, we're low on gold? We shouldn't be low on gold. I think it's just the nickel. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, we can just mine some more stone. Um... So let me go into the drills, K menu, 
drills if I can type. So we'll throw stone back on. Enable. And we'll turn them on. And they're going to start pulling from in there, getting us some more lovely stone, which we can then turn into nickel. The only bad thing is we're going to be getting so much iron that I'm going to have too much of it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so let's see. What else do we need? Um, so we have six. Uh, would you call those down thrusters or up thrusters? Probably up thrusters because it moves the ship up. Or would you call them down thrusters because they're pointed down? Hmm. I don't know. But we'll throw in some more thrusters here. Two and three. So that'll be our forward thrusters. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to do the reverse thrusters. And then we're also going to need left and right thrusters. Which honestly, I could just put right on top of these ones. And that should be completely fine. So one, two, three. And flip that around. There we go. Three more. OK, so that'll be our thrusters over there. OK, so three left, three right. I mean, I could do more if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. And then we've got to make all of those pieces plus all the stuff that's got to go in there, which is going to be interesting. Um, and then I also need a command deck in here. So that's going to be interesting. Let's see, that's one, two, three blocks. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, I suppose I could start putting in these. This is going to be a very boxy looking ship, just so you know, but it is a delivery ship. So if you look at your local postal vehicles, you know, take a look at what they look like. I mean, that's kind of what this is going to be like, I guess. Um, okay, so we can put that there, put that there, and I'm going to put a door in here. Two doors, actually. I'm going to indent them, though, so I can actually stand in there, like just fly in here and then stand. Um, so that will be fine. All right, uh, other things that I'm going to need in here are a shit ton of the build and repair units. So that is going to be interesting. I'm also going to need a large storage container, maybe even a couple of them if I can handle it. Let me see this from here to here is two. It's not really going to work, is it? Well, then again, I could just be using those just to hold the container. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, so I'm not actually going to connect those into the system. Um, they're just going to be there to hold the container that we're transporting in place. So I think that will work out fine. Um, let's see, then we need our large containers. And that's got to go into here. And I could technically put another one in there. But actually, yeah, that'll, that'll work. OK, so we'll do that. And then let's see, we need this to be a straight piece and then a curved piece. So then that'll connect from that connector in through this last large cargo container. In there like that. OK, so that'll be all connected through there, which is good. Um, let's see, what else do we need? Um, oxygen and hydrogen. 
probably would not be a bad idea. So let me put in a T section in here, and then we'll do another T section over here. That is not the right way. Try this one more time. There we go. Okay. Now we've got two blocks here, which is good for an oxygen tank. Now I don't need to put in two of these things, but you know, it's whatever I guess. Um, I could just do, yeah, let's just do one hydrogen tank and then one oxygen tank. And we'll see kind of how that goes. That just needs to be the basic one. I don't need to go super crazy with this because this is only going to be uh, here for supporting me. And then we'll do... I think that's the right way. Okay, so that'll be good there. So then that will connect in through here, into there. And then, uh, let's see, O2, H2 gens. Might as well put in a couple of those as long as I'm at it. Uh, do I need anything else in here? Um, let's see. Gyros, built and repair units. I need those. Yeah, okay, so I have a better idea rather than doing that. We're gonna put in a junction block there instead. Okay, so junction there. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Of course, that's gonna break the O2H2 gen, which is, you know, fine, I guess. All right, so we'll do that. And then we'll throw this guy back in. And then from here, uh, we're going to do a T. Okay, so that will go there. I need interior plate. And then I also need to refresh, refresh my oxygen. So that'll work. Apparently that drone finally made its way around. Okay, so that's good there. Okay, so that'll go there and then we'll flip this around. Put two more over here on the top. I can put more on the side if I really wanted to. And we'll see how I feel about that. Okay, and then let's see, this guy needs to go down. And then we'll put these ones in here as well. So there's four. That will give us eight. Okay. Um, let's see. So now we're going to need a way to move around these things. take these back out and we're going to put them kind of on the side so we can walk through here. So we're going to go, instead of putting them here, we're going to put them there. And that way we can walk through the space uh, from the front of the ship to the back of the ship. And that should work out just fine. to go so far 
Um, let's see. What is another thing that I'm going to need in here? Uh, survival kit would be nice, I think. But so now from here, I can walk pretty much the entire way going this way. This will be exposed um, on the side of the ship, but that's fine for now. Then I can put take out a couple of these boxes to put in the shield generator. Um, I'm also going to need room for gyros. So i got to figure out where I'm going to put those. Um, but for now, I can put in some passages. So we'll put in these lit passages every, I don't know, five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll work. That'll go there and go there. And then we can go with the normal passages to go in between all of this. Okay. Okay, now something else I can do here. Um, is to put in our up and down thr or our addition last pair of thrusters, whatever you want to call it. So we'll put those in here. All right, so that should leave five blocks in the middle for the cargo, which is technically four blocks wide because that's a half block and that's a half block over there. So that should work out just fine. So that'll actually end up right in here, which means it won't be in the way of the thrusters. And then also these thrusters are high enough that we could actually put in this to kind of give them a little bit more protection on the side. And then we can run that up as a half block all the way up to the top of the ship. And then that should still be able to pull down just fine and it's not going to get in the way of the doors. So I think that is actually going to work out for the best. And I need more alloy plates. Luckily there's a lot of it. Still 18,000 left. Okay. So then that'll give us a little bit of protection for those thrusters in case the shield goes down. Um, and then the rest of this I can just fill in with blocks. Okay, so that is what we're looking at so far, or what we're looking like so far. And I don't feel comfortable putting a half block down below this block here, because then we're gonna have a hard time kind of fitting in here, whereas like this, we could just kind of like plop in here. And even if we go in here, kind of crooked on the side, we still have this full block of space that we can use for adjustments. Um, so I'll probably just put, I don't know, some glass or something over this, just to kind of give those a little bit of protection. Um, that should be fine. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, Um, do we want a gravity generator on here? Do we need a gravity generator on here? I suppose is the better question. I don't think we do. But if I don't put a gravity generator in here, that's going to make stairs, if I do put stairs in here, um, a little bit harder to manage. You know what I could do? I could put in one more build and repair unit right there. 
So I think that goes all the way to, oh no, it does have a little gap there. Okay, maybe I won't do that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could do this a little differently, I suppose, if I went like this to drop us down a block. And then I don't like put that in there, right there or something. Um, let me put that just so I have something to put this into. And then we'll do that. So that way we can kind of go at a smooth angle down and then we're kind of at this level, which will be good. Um, game froze. There we go. Uh, so that can go there and there. Oh, that's got the O2H2 gen there. Ew. Hmm. Let's see, what else have we got going on here? Uh, we still need room for gyros. So I need to keep that in mind. Um, I mean, this ship isn't going to be that heavy, though, so I don't know if we're going to need like, a lot of those. And that just hurts that that's upside down. Uh, OK. We we gotta fix that. That's that's a no go. I mean, at least it'll get built up right away. Because we made, already made all the parts for it. Unless, of course, it uses these parts for the other gyros that I built, which would be kind of awkward. But yeah, so that should work now. So that's right side up. Um, lots of storage for, you know, spoils of war, I suppose. Um, I have room for gyros here and also on the bottom. Okay, so that's back up and running. Good to go. Uh, just needs some uranium in the reactor, and we should be good. Hello, uranium. Do I even want to know how much uranium I have? Uh, cargo. Hide empty. 117,000 uranium to process. Okay, and we have 43,000 uranium just stored right now. Did you, can you pull in some uranium, sir? Um, let's see, large cargo. That is not, okay, why are you not connected? Sir, why you no work? Of course, I can't see what's in here. I mean, it's it's on. Oh, these aren't technically connected to anything. That is a problem. 
Okay. That is not good. Okay, so how do I get them connected? I mean, we've got the room for it. So let's see. If we take that block out. That should still stay in place, I think. It's got to go all the way through there. I think just to there. OK. And then we can take out this piece, replace that with a T. So that'll go there. And then this has got to be a curve. This way, and then we need a straight. Okay, and then I need a T. Oh, but first we need another straight, and then a T. Okay, and straight, straight. more interior plates. Okay. Uh, interior plate. Let's see. Grab a bunch of those. Okay. Head back down to the underside of the ship. All right. And then we'll throw in another straights followed by another T section. Okay. So now everything should be connected up through the pistons, which means, oops, can't get up there from here, which means that the reactor should have picked up some uranium. Good to go. Uh, I'm also going to need batteries in here, so let me throw in a couple of those. So let's see, that's good for a battery there and there. Um, okay, so I want to put in a survival kit. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Yeah, I suppose we can just kind of put in a couple of curves here. I don't think I'm going to need anything else up in the front here. Um, I don't like the fact, however, I'm not going to be able to access anything in here. So maybe, sorry, I'm going to take you back apart. And we'll put it directly on here so I can still access this from the other side of the survival kit. So that'll look something like that. Um, OK, so let's see. Get rid of these ones, and we'll move this block out another two blocks. That's how it matches the other side. 
because otherwise it's going to be not symmetrical, which is going to bother me. Um, I mean, do I need anything else over here? I mean, I don't think so. I think just one H2O2 generator should be enough, but I suppose another one couldn't hurt, right? Um, I think that is the right way. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It kind of matters, but it doesn't really matter. So then we go into here. That brings us down a level. And game is frozen. So that'll kind of sort of work, maybe. Um, and then I can just bring all of these forward, right? Not you. OK, so there's that. that and then I suppose over in here we can do something like a catwalk so we can still see down and see all of the batteries um, so that's got to go in there like that but it doesn't like that um, unless of course I put in a three-way passage uh, okay so that can go there and then I don't think I'm going to need to go in here, over here on this side for anything, but put it there anyways. OK, so that is better over there now. And then that can go over there. OK, so now we can kind of walk through here. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Uh, gyros. I could put a few gyros in here. Maybe just a couple gyros. I don't know. Okay. So those two gyros there should be enough to control the ship for the most part. Unless both of those large cargo containers get all the way full, in which case it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Um, but that's that's fine for now. Um, let's see what else. What else? Um, a beacon. Maybe. And I could put the beacon in between there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then these aren't technically connected to anything. So they're just there to hold the cargo uh, in place. So that's why I'm not too worried about what they look like or how they're connected. And we are going to be naming this ship DiGiorno because it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Um, but also because it is actually a delivery ship, so it's kind of, you know, tongue-in-cheek there. 
Uh, okay, so we've got this thing kind of sort of figured out, maybe. All right, so let's see. What else can I do here? Um, we're going to do some windows because we like windows. Probably not too many windows because we don't like windows that much. And we'll throw in these guys there. OK. And then I kind of want to see if I can get the, the ship to kind of curve a little bit, like towards the top. So we're going to go and see if we can make this work. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I have no idea. Sir, if you don't mind. OK, so that can go there. And then we can go here. Do I like that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No. Because that's not going to work up here. So we're going to get rid of that. So not there and not there. So we're going to bring this up another block on the side. Um, OK, not that we need. We know we do need that. OK. So once we bring that up one more, then everything will work. And so now we can go back into these blocks and pull them in. So you need to go, sir. OK, so that can go there, like that. And then this one can go here, like that. OK, so now that looks like that will work. Um, OK, so now what do I want to do here? Hmm. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to hop in here because it's closer and recharge that way. I wonder if I have enough stone yet. Probably be a good thing to check, right? See how much nickel I have. 27,000. I think that'll be enough. Um, so we're going to turn the drills off for now. Show area off. OK. Now hopefully that'll be enough nickel to last us at least a little while. Hopefully. We will see. Um, OK, so. What can I do in here? So I kind of want to put some programmable blocks in here. OK. And I know that the programmable blocks don't seal. So we will be putting um, a panel on the outside there. But that will be fine. And granted, we don't need to seal this anyways. So I don't even know why I'm worrying about that. We don't, we don't need to worry about that. So, um, OK. And one, two, three, four, five, we'll go back. And then we'll, yeah, so let's see. Two, three, four, five. I think that'll work. OK. And then 
then that can go into there, which will be fine. And then we can just fill in this kind of over here on the side. I mean, and I still have more room for stuff if I really want to put that in here. I don't know if I really want to put that in here though, so. All right, so let's just fill out the rest of this. And then we're gonna go into our yellow here. You see, and then these two, and then one, two, three, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. So that's gonna be our kind of little loading area, I suppose. Should work. Um, okay. And then from here, we'll put in this guy. And then that can go in here like that. And then in here, Throw that in there and in there. Then that can go there. Okay, let's see. And then that can go into there like that. Okay. And then, as far as I know, I don't think we need anything else on here. We've got pretty much all the things that we need. So I'm just going to fill that in on the sides. And then for this piece, we need, is it in, no, it isn't here, okay. So we'll grab this guy, put that in there. And that can go in there. I think that will be good. All right, and then I need a space up in here for the shield. Right there should be good. Um, let's see, emitter. That can rotate and go in there like that. Okay, good to go. And we need a shield controller. Is that the correct orientation? Yes. Now, um, let's see, more windows, these guys. And then I left the space in there because I kind of want to switch this up a little bit. Put something like this in here. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. Not too much flavor, just a little bit of flavor. Um, okay, so now what I need to do here is get a little creative, a little boxy, unfortunately. But we need that to go in there. And you can see that we do have that open kind of triangle area left. So we need to put something in there um, from this side. That will go in there like that. And in here like that. So 
So a little boxy looking, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing ever. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Uh, we can put in this. And this isn't really for any reason in particular. Um, it's just that way I can place the windows on this block instead of the inside block, which gives me more room to put stuff inside. All right. And then let's see, windows. I think I'm kind of wondering like if there's some other way to do this, but eh, it's fine. It'll be fine. So delivery ship doesn't need to be the most impressive looking thing in the world. So window, window, window. And they're on this block here, not on the inside block. So that gives me room to put stuff in there, which is good. Um, let's see, then I need this guy. And then rotate, there we go, two and three. Okay, so that is all good there. I'm gonna need a panel to cover that up. It's not gonna let me put that there. Okay, I'll get that some other time then. Um, let's see. Looks like we're still working on those. I wonder if I'm actually out of gold. I mean, I sh no, I'm not out of gold. Okay, it's just being slow. Still trying to build everything else. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's good to go for now. I can put some panels back here to kind of cover up the yellow. Oh, guns. I need guns on this thing. Okay. Yeah. How am I going to do that? Yeah, there's, there's really no way to do that at this point. I mean, but if you think about it, there really wasn't any way to do that anyways because a turret is a 3x3x3 three by three by three block, even though it only looks like it takes up two. Um, so, I mean, like, where would I even put that in here, right? Like, I don't, I don't see any way of doing that. So, <clears throat> what I can do is uh, kind of put them on there temporarily. And I could make it look like really, really dumb if I wanted to. Um, I can extend a block out here, kind of put it out there if I wanted to. Um, I could extend it out this way and put it on the front if I wanted to. That actually might make the most sense if I'm going to be putting it anywhere. And once again, this is just temporary, so... So we would do something... And then probably like a cargo container, small one. and then kind of put the gun out on front. And honestly, that would actually 
maybe go down, provided the gun wasn't moving around. No, that won't. That'll hit right here. So that's it's not going to do anything anyways. Uh, okay, so let's just make this max. So once again, this is just temporary. Um, and I think I only need one gun to take out the behemoth. Uh, one gun, a lot of ammo, and uh, very, very, very strong shields. Oh, and another thing. Uh, thrusters. Reverse thrusters. Um, I need those as well. Now, those I actually do need to put on here. So, where could I put those? And then everywhere else has six. So I feel like I would need at least that many. So I could take out these blocks here, put some in there, or at least put two in there. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. Two, three, and four. Hopefully nothing was depending on those blocks. No, that's just the batteries there. Okay, good. Okay, so then we can put in thrusters. Okay. So there's two. I feel like, like maybe in here would be a good place for some, but then I'd have to change this whole orientation, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Actually, it might it might actually be the worst thing in the world. Um, I mean, I can make it work. Uh, this ship is not going to be the prettiest ship in the world. I'm telling you right now. But it will be a functional ship. All right, and then we're going to take out all of these blocks to include that one. place these thrusters here. I could place them farther forward, couldn't I? Might actually be a better idea. Put them like right there. So then let's get rid of you. Okay, so now we have four thrusters in the reverse direction. So I think that will sort of hopefully work, maybe. And then I could extend this all the way forward. Okay, so that can go and that can go. All right.
Oh, and another thing is I wanted to connect the cockpit up to all of the other things uh, into the conveyor network thing so I can keep myself uh, oxygenated and hydrogenated. Hydrogenated? <laughs> uh, okay, so now to fix this catastrophe here. So we're going to run this up, excuse me, sir, like that. And you'll see that we have this nice kind of funky looking area here. So we can fix that with these. So that, okay, why, why you no place? OK, because that's in the way, which means we got to change that out. Okay, I never liked that anyway, so it's fine. Um, okay, so let's see, that's got to go this way, right? But then that's going to leave a gap over there. But then maybe that's not really going to matter too much. I don't know. It's got to go that way and in there. And then this has to go in there. And then in there. Right? Right. OK, so we have something that looks better, maybe. And that actually doesn't leave any openings, so that's good. I have no idea if this is actually a sealed point in this corner, but meh. We'll, uh, we'll just go for it, I guess. Um, let's see. What else do we need? So we've got thruster, 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 thruster. So that's four thrusters going in the reverse direction. We have six thrusters in the forward direction. Those are still being built, which is fine. We have our beacon right there. See connector two, cargo, di giorno, and then this is going to be connector one, cargo, di giorno. Okay. Now that should be good to go. Um, once I get all of the thrusters built, uh, then we can probably take this thing out for a spin. Um, and then also those need to get built as well. And those are the gyroscopes. So there is kind of what our delivery ship looks like. That is not going to stay there, obviously, because it can't. Um, but just for now, it will stay there. Actually. I wonder, because like this is considered a solid block, right? Yeah. I was thinking if it's like the wheels and only the base of it is solid and the rest of it is just kind of not, then I wonder if that would like slide through there and just clip through. I don't think so, but it would be interesting to find out. Uh, this is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. This is a really terrible idea. OK, it, it just gets stuck there. OK, that's fine. So it considers uh, the entire 3x3x3 three by three by three area of the gun turret, I should say, to be um, a solid block. So it's not going to push down past there. So like I said, for now, that's just going to be there. Um, and that's just to take out the, uh, the behemoth factory. Um, let's see. Oh, and I need to work on the interior. So I have a place to sit down and do all of my business. Yeah, and that makes it real easy to fly in here. So that's good. Um, let's see, cockpit. Kind of want to put this in there, but I don't know if that's got the connection on the top or the back. I think it's on the back. No, that's on the top. Yeah. 
So that's not going to work. I mean, I could push it out, I suppose. Hell, I could even push it out to there if I really wanted to. But to there at least. But then I got to do like a whole crazy thing just to get that to work in there. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, does this one have the connector in the back? It has the connector on the bottom. Why, why is none of this easy right here? I mean, I could put it up here, maybe forward a little bit. But once again, I, that requires me to come. OK, what else can I do here? That's small grid only. And these are the only ones for large grid. Armored cockpit, for small grid only. Uh, I need something. that can connect into the system. I mean, I still like the idea of using this guy. But then I have to like route a whole bunch of stuff and like snake it around and just going to be kind of dumb looking, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'll make it work. Uh, no, we need these. So this has to go around like this, and then that has to go in here like that, and then into here like that. So that looks terrible. But you know what? So long as I can replenish my oxygen and my hydrogen, that's really all that matters. Ship fuel low. How is the ship fuel low? Like, all of the reactors should have a ton of uranium in them right now. Ninety-six, 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 a hundred. How is the ship fuel low? Unless you're talking about the hydrogen. You're talking about the hydrogen. Why are you talking about the hydrogen? Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so what, are you gonna keep saying that? Come on now. Okay, that's gonna get real annoying real fast. Ship fuel low, shut the fuck up. The ship fuel is not low, actually. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to replace this block. Uh, okay, walk this block. Do that like that. And then we'll put stairs down here. That is not even the right way to put those in there. Okay, try again. There we go. So now if this thing did have gravity, we could walk down in here, and I suppose even without it, we can walk over here, check out all of our stuff. Uh, we need tier five gravity generator components. Okay. What are you waiting on? You're just filling up slowly, okay. No, fill these first, please. Thank you. OK, so that's these guys all built. We can even go back here if we really want to, kind of look around to see what's going on. So that kind of sort of works. And we can still walk through there, even without gravity, so that's good. Uh, we can get in here, charge ourselves if we need to. Well, that's mostly for healing, I guess. And then this, we can just go in here for charging. 
Um, okay, so door mod or door script, I should say, can go into this one. Browsing, and we are an hour and ten minutes, so I am going to be ending this soon. Check code. Okay. Always give credit. Okay, so that's that. 3.5, 0, 0, and 200. Center, good. Okay, so that's good for that. This is a very like industrial vibe to it. I kind of like it actually. Yeah, look at that. Oxygen's already filled up. Nice. Uh, okay, so um, I mean, this is this is decent enough. I mean, this is pretty much everything I need for now. I have a flipping driller coming in. Okay, so with this and the large reactor and the shield on here, um, we should be able to handle quite a lot of damage. And then this also should be able to fit directly below there. So if we just check this just for research purposes only, All right, so let's lower this guy back in. So extend, retract. So that should pull it all the way down. I'd say that's looking pretty fancy right now. Um, okay, and then if we close the doors, does the ship completely and totally disappear? Survey says, yes, it does. So there we go. We have our ship mostly built. Um, we've tested loading it. Uh, we can load stuff on there as needed. Um, and then I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do over in here, which will be fine, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. Actually, no, that that actually will be fine. That'll be totally fine. Because another passageway plus a door, and then we can just walk out through there, and then just extend this out that way, perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty easy fix right there. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and bring the ship back out. And then it probably would be a good idea to have something in here that'll lock, like to the ship, I guess. Um, just that way it doesn't try to move anywhere. Um, I could actually do that, now that I think about it. Maybe, though. Because, I mean, if I put an emerge block over here, I mean, this would have to be lined up extremely closely like almost exactly with where this is. So if I'm going on here and I let myself get centered on the connectors that are under here and it, it then I lock in and I'm slightly off this way, when I try to bring it back down, it might not like that. Like at all. Hmm, okay, so potential ways to fix that. Oh, but 
Uh, well, maybe that would work. No, that would not work. Because if I merge this to the ship, and the ship thinks that this is, like all of these thrusters are part of the ship, then if I have these set to not be, oh hey, we have a shield, somehow. We had a shield. I think it just went down right away because we're probably too close to the asteroids. Um, but yeah, so back to what I was saying, uh, if the big ship thinks that all of these thrusters are now part of the big ship, then turning off the dampeners on this ship is going to be kind of null and void. So when I try to move forward, all of these thrusters are going to be blowing straight against the walls inside, which is not going to be good. So I think we're just going to have to deal with it. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be, I guess. But for now, let me move out a little bit. So we can maybe get our shield kind of up and running. Ship fuel, low. Ship fuel low. No, it's not low. And why are you using 90% power? Oh, for the shield. Gotcha. So it's charging up the shield right now? Is that what it's doing? Um menu shield controller yeah it's charging up right now okay so that's what's going on I mean that that's that's fine it's cool and that ship fuel low is really annoying ship fuel low no the ship fuel is not low I don't know what you're talking about I think it's talking about the hydrogen which is just dumb because it is. Um, this is oxygen on this side, right? Okay, so let me go down over here onto this side. This is hydrogen, right? Yes. Stockpile. Now, hopefully, this will end the ship fuel low problems. OK, good to go. So now, hopefully, it won't say ship fuel low. Ship fuel. What the hell? Ship the ship fuel is not low. Oh, unless it's talking about the batteries. Oh, come on, man. That's just dumb. Shield. Because the batteries do count as shield, or whatever. OK, so you need to not be ridiculous right now. So we're going to put you in the megawatt range, like 75 megawatts. There, now you're at 100%. There. Which means that hopefully, It will stop pulling on the batteries. And it's still saying ship fuel low. That's annoying. But it's, oh wait, did it stop? I don't know, it's just being dumb. Okay, so good to go there. We have our ship sort of kind of coming together a little bit. Um, I'll throw the turret back out here because we're gonna need it. But uh, we have tested it. It does fit into its little uh, little cubby hole, I guess, uh, without you know the turret on there, of course. And then, um, the problem is going to be with the uh, what are they called? The incisors when they come after me. I mean, I suppose I can just tank the damage. You know, I, th I think that would probably work. Yeah, and then just wait for the build and repair units to rip them apart. I think that would probably be the easier thing to do. But, I mean, we have a cockpit within the glassed area. 
So none of this is going to be pressurized in here, and we have the cockpit in there, so that way I can get the oxygen and hydrogen that I need. So that way I can spend a lot of time, you know, out there fighting things. And it should work out quite nicely, hopefully. Um, okay, so what else do I need? It's still building stuff over here. So what are you still building? Okay, you're building those. Okay, that's fine. So now if I go over here, okay, so these are now gyros. I'm going to put in nine on each side. Or I could do maybe eight on each side. I feel like this would be the center. Game froze. Okay. Okay, so there's eight more. And then we'll head over to here. Put them over here. Okay, now I think this is sort of kind of the middle. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that gets us another 16 gyros, and that does look pretty centered right there. I think we have 10 blocks in between. So it should be four blocks, and then this, and then this, and then four blocks. So we have lots, lots more room for more of these if we need them. But that should hopefully get us kind of sort of going, maybe. Um, I definitely need more builder and repair units over here, though. Kind of help build this a little bit faster, but that's, that's fine. It's cool. We're good. Um, all right, now what do you need? You need thruster components. OK, so that's fine. So we're all kind of doing our thing. Everything is sort of kind of working. It's coming along. Um, ship is slowly starting to come to life. I mean, it's already alive technically, but it's like really, really alive now. Um, okay, what do we have here? How are you doing? You can have that, you can have that. Um, I'm gonna need to make some food. So if you don't mind, production, protein assembler, thingy thing. We'll make like 10 of those. That needs drinking water. Okay. Okay, now it should start making my food. That's not what I need. Um, I need this. Yes, yes, good. Food, s'il vous plaît, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So with that, we have gotten, we've actually gotten a lot done. Um, a lot more than I thought we would. So I'm kind of happy, happy about that. Um, let me get up to the top. All right. And so we have built our little delivery ship over there on the front. It's doing its thing. We're going to use that to take out the behemoth. At least, hopefully, take out the behemoth. We will see. Um, it has lots of storage spots in there. So um, as I take out the incisors, I can you know break them down and all the other good stuff. Um, let's see. What else? Um, we know that the ship fits inside its little cubby hole. Uh, we have tested it. We have also tested the capability of it with the crane. We know that that works too. So I think all in all, um, we're actually pretty good. So I think in the next episode, we should be able to start going after the behemoth. Um, but I'm going to give it some time to build up the rest of the thrusters and also those gyroscopes. And we'll see kind of how the response of the big ship is with those. Um, and I added just a couple. And it doesn't look like it's, I mean, we also added a lot more weight. So it doesn't look like we've really helped ourselves out that much. We're at 26 million pounds now. Um, and that's from all of the stone that we processed and all the extra uranium that we have now. So we definitely are going to need more of the gyros. Definitely going to need more. Like probably another 16 more, apart from the 16 that I already added. And then maybe we'll have somewhat decent 
uh, movement control because right now this is as fast as I can go. This is this is it. This is what I got. But I'm gonna get myself facing the behemoth because that will be where we will be headed in the next episode. So now we gotta move upwards. Do 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 do. All right, there we go. So that is where we are headed. Um, I still need to put in a shield controller for the big ship. Um, that's gonna be interesting. But we will get ourselves aligned here. And we will end this video here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you will join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one.